Hi everyone, it's Janice and today I'm here to show you my latest junk journal. It's a blue shabby one and the cover has been covered with a doily and lots of lace. The image of the woman on the front has been Mod Podged and I've added these little pearl scented roses to the bottom of that image. The spine has been covered in a lace and also I added some little applique pieces there. The back I've left plain to show you the doily and of course underneath I've covered the book in a linen fabric as well. The closure I've made with a, a beige seam binding because it matched the doily. So I'll just show you what's inside. All the pages have been coffee or tea dyed and all, all of them have been sewn with blue lace. The kits I've used are from Screech Owl Studio and Antique Papery and I will leave the links below for those Etsy shops. I've made an index card and just collaged it and it says remember this moment and my normal tags I put in the book. This book belongs to And The Story Begins. Um, this one's a ghost pocket and I've made the matching note card as the image is there. There's lots of pages for writing um, and a lot of the pages when I coffee dyed them I put lace to the top of them so you'll see that impression throughout the book. I call these my belly band tags because it has a tag attached and um, a collage tag. I think most of the tags in this book have been collaged. pocket with some note cards and the image of a lady there. I've also done uh, a bit of stenciling which you'll see throughout the book. That's been done in blue. The paper doilies I have collaged them as well and the music paper I, which are from my vintage books they have had an image on some of them printed pocket and their note cards. This one's an envelope and I've lined it with some paper, pattern paper. And there's the note cards for that one. This is the middle of the first signature and it has a little heart charm there and I've sewn some doilies here and it did have a bit of um, a bit of decoration I'll call it and also that's some patchwork fabric with some lace and the little daisy applique these are large tags and they've just been collaged Another collage belly band there and some note cards. Belly band and that one is remember this moment. I had a big piece of um, patchwork fabric so you will see it throughout the book. That's another one of those belly band tags with a note card and a bit more stenciling down the side there. Oh, this one's a snippet roll that I've added as a belly band there with various laces and I've sewn a button on and a double tag, that one. One's 
more note cards. I think there's over 70 pieces of note cards and tags in this book. That's why it's quite heavy. Uh, this one's a cabinet card. Little snippet there. And this one's the second signature. As you can see, there are a lot of pages for journaling in this book. There's my lady, who I always put within my shabby books and just change the colour of her dress. A little envelope with a little butterfly on muslin there. Well, that's an envelope there. big note card in that one that's got lace that paper is scrapbooking paper and it's sort of got a little bit of embossing but you can't see it on camera just a little decoration and this is the middle of that second signature and these are collage big note cards And this little embellishment is a silver key in that middle of that signature. There she is in a lighter coloured dress. And that's the back part of that envelope. And that's just a collage large note card on that one. And it's got pieces of lace and other music paper, etc. Made quite a few of those. They're different varieties of lace or designs. That one's lovely, I love that one. A bit more collaging there. Stenciling. This one's a pocket and that one has a double tag in that one. That's from the kit. Actually, when I made this pocket, I made a a different um, tag to go in there because that's got that patchwork fabric on it but it didn't fit so I had to put it in this pocket here which is a ghost pocket so that actually matches that image so that one goes in there so this is the next signature this one's an envelope and it has one of my altered paper clips on that one and inside this one will just be a little note card matching, yes. Another ghost pocket. And that one is antique papery, that particular image. And note cards and a tag. Another ghost pocket and this one's just got a little bit of embellishment on that one and some more collage tags. A little envelope here and that one's got a little bit of stamped muslin on that one. I added, I just... <laughs> I just made this out of some um, scrapbooking paper and these are just little blank tags. There's something a little bit different to insert inside the signature. So this is the middle of the third signature. I just had to have a look because I wasn't sure where I was up to there. Uh, that's just such beautiful lace and it's got a little heart charm there and these are some more collage tags note cards some lovely laces that's the other side of those double tags and you make life more beautiful just a little clock looks like I've stuck that down and a belly band here 
Happy, happiness is not about getting what you want. It is wanting what you have. Oh, this one's a flip out. So this one has a note card. And actually it matches that one. And then this one matches that one. So. Another collage tag. And that's ghost pocket there. Now this is the fourth signature. <laughs> This one just has a little tag at the top of that one and um, that's a wax seal on there. Flirted lifts. And the back of that has another note card. That's just some scrapbooking paper. And this one's a ghost pocket. And that one has a um, tag, little note card. bit more stenciling on that one. Oh, this one, this pocket I've made and I've put some pages out of the book I have Gone With The Wind. And that's got a double tag and also another tag there. This is the middle of the last signature. And that one's got a little key as well. Um, that is my girl again. I've put her to that large note card. And this one is a stamped um, doily I cut up to make that one. And that's on a blue paper. that's another collage large note card and this one has some of the same doily as that one I've just stamped some script on that one This one's a ghost pocket and it has the matching image I printed on the music page and also on the belly band there. That's got, that's got a beautiful um, knitting and it's got a blue embossed flower in it but you can just barely see it because I've put the lady on that one. the other side of that scrapbooking envelope and that one has a note card and also a piece of that doily and I've printed on it, stamped on it, treasure these memories. That one's also a little piece of the stamp muslin. Just a little pocket with a note card there and a little note card in that paper doily pocket. A little bit more stenciling there. Another pocket with note cards. These are from the kit. That's wallpaper on that page. And it has an envelope with one of those large collage note cards. Remember this moment. So it's got some little pieces of lace applique on that one. This one's a flip out envelope and that also has a note card in it. That one's made with some scrapbooking paper. This is the last page and this one I made is just a little flip out and I've aligned it with vintage music paper. And this is a notepad so it does have blue and white paper.
pages in that to write on. So, and I just added a little rose like what is on the front of the, the cover. So I just added these little tiny note cards here. They just fit into that pocket. And the other side has the same, so I won't take those out. But you can see they're the same little note cards there. I forget where I learned how to do that on YouTube. Uh, I'll put the link below, but I have made mine completely different, but it's the same sort of um, design. So that's my very chunky, large latest journal. I hope you've enjoyed watching it with me and bye for now.